Well, she's a national treasurer, a treasure and a household name. But after suffering the unimaginable loss of their daughter, Maggie Beer and husband Colin have found a way to honour Saskia's life, a legacy that will be celebrated for years to come. Do you remember planting that pepper tree? It'd be about 30, no. 30 years old. Did we? Did we plant it? Oh, yes, we did plant it. Colin's vision entirely to come to South Australia, farm pheasants. We found this property, we built this dam. Our girls were, were born just sort of across the way. An hour's drive out of Adelaide, Maggie and Colin Beers set themselves up in this quiet, picturesque spot well before she became a legend of the food industry. The couple bought the land in 1974, just after their first daughter Saskia was born. Remember they used to yabby with a piece of bread tied onto string. The connection they feel with this place is now so much more precious. Two years ago, blindsided by a tragedy that changed their lives forever. Losing a child, you are never the same. Life is never the same. Something I wouldn't wish on anyone. Saskia, or Sassy, as her mum and dad adoringly call her, died peacefully in her sleep at just 46 years old. COVID to me was a bit of a gift to isolate because we didn't want to talk to anyone except for our very closest. And, and so uh, I couldn't imagine going out into the world and have everyone want to speak about, about Saskia. It just would have been too hard. After Saskia died, did you spend much time in the kitchen? Yes. My happy place is being in the kitchen and Sassy, everything about the family celebrations are all, had all our lives been in the kitchen. So it gave me comfort. And it doesn't take long to see Maggie's eyes light up as she cooks. If you have space in the pan, you get more pan frying. I love vegetables and I love pumpkin and Sassy and I shared this love of pumpkin and so these have already been roasted because they take about 25 minutes. Just like her mother did, loyal and kind-hearted Sassy found her way with food. Saskia inherited this ability to cook naturally which I had inherited from my father. It actually went down and it was just an absolute, she was a natural. It was her relaxation as well. No. After a really hard day, she'd go home and cook a three-course meal. I thought that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we met Saskia alongside her sister and mum in the kitchen when Tracy visited the family in 2019. Even when I think I've done all the cooking, Saskia will still come and bring half the dinner that's extra because that would be the good half. <laughs> With a strong entrepreneurial streak, Saskia used her passion to become one of the first niche poultry producers in Australia. Her business still thriving. There's no doubt Maggie Beer's daughter was a talent in her own right, achieving so much in her short life. A life which is about to be honoured in the form of a Churchill Fellowship. It allows people for, say, four to eight weeks, depending on um, what they envisage doing, of going overseas to find out something that can't be learnt from Australia. That's the strength of it. And when they bring, bring it back, they have to give back to the community at large in what they have learnt. Adam Davey, CEO of the Winston Churchill Trust, says the fellowship will honour Saskia's contribution to small-scale farming and food production. Through uh, the Saskia Beer Churchill Fellowship, the people who are awarded that fellowship will pay tribute to Saskia's life and continue her legacy through their passion for food. How do you both manage to keep going? You have to keep going. No. There's no point in stopping and curling up. Um, and that's not who we are anyhow. It's hard to believe. Um, you do go through those periods, it's very hard to believe it's happened. 
There's a pretty special synergy about Saskia's legacy and it lies in the very beginnings of Maggie's journey with food and the land here in the Barossa. Almost 50 years ago, her husband was awarded a Churchill Fellowship and so it was thousands of kilometres away on the border of Scotland that an idea was born and an empire would grow. <laughs> After studying game bird breeding in Europe and America, Colin brought his vision home to Australia. We were breeding pheasants, which led to cooking pheasants. So we were paddock to plate 40 years ago. And just as the fellowship sparked ideas in Colin and Maggie, including their farm shop, which is still open today, they hope Saskia's fellowship does the same for someone else bring something new and to share it and something that somehow is going to be beautifully delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Saskia would be chuffed that this is in her honour? Ah, uh, Sassy would be proud and she would want this, yes. Even after enduring an unimaginable loss, one thing hasn't changed at all. Maggie's passion. See how it's virtually no time at all yeah, and I have colour. <laughs> the, and I'm a messy cook. <laughs> Colin's a lucky man, by the way. Well, no, Having you as a cook, oh my goodness. No, no, but he does all the clean-up. Oh, well, that's a good deal. He does all the clean-up. We've that's been married deal. 52 years. <laughs> so what inspires you both to keep going every day? For me, it's about sharing something about what's in the garden that's so fresh and beautiful and people don't know what to do with it, you know. I love that part of my life. Applications open today and will stay open until the end of April.